Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about using the Windows Calculator. The Windows Calculator in Windows 7 is vastly improved over previous versions of it. Uh, let's just jump right into it. You go down to the Start button down here, and then go up to where it says All, All Programs and click that. Or you can just mouse over it, let it hover, and go up to Accessories, and then click Calculator. Okay. So of course, you know, when you when it first opens, you can, you know, 9 times 9 equals. You can either use the buttons with your mouse or you can use the buttons on your keyboard. So and to clear it, let's see. So you can go 9 times 9. Oh, well, you get the idea. So um, there's that part of it. And now, if you go up to View, you can choose the Scientific Programmer or Statistics Calculator, which would have saved me a lot of effort in college. And then you go to View, let's see, Unit Conversion is really handy. So let's say you want to convert, um, oh, let's say, temperature. And the value, let's say it's um, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want to see what that is in Celsius. So it's already in Celsius. So it's 38.8 degrees Celsius. Okay, and then to get rid of this part here, you just go to View Basic. Okay, and again, that's, you, you click View, and then you can choose all kinds of different stuff. So I would encourage you to um, experiment with that a little bit. You can also do uh, digit grouping. So if, let's say, so we'll, let's select that. And then let's say you want to have uh, 10 million as your number. So you just do 10. And you'll see it'll put the commas in so you can see. There we go. So you can see where you're at. Okay, and if you need help with the calculator, go to View Help, and that will give you some information about it. Okay, and let's see. You can copy and paste just like you would in anything else. And that's about it. I would just encourage you to experiment with it a little bit and uh, practice with it and it should be pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Thanks.